What up, YouTube? Uh, Professor Snap here, coming with another rant slash response slash rant. Okay. Now, I did not want to do a video about this um, or a response. There's this guy. He made a video about the whole movement, and I didn't want to make a video, but the homie Sicko Six One Nine, Mr. Ariaza, and some other kids throughout the community have um, really stepped up against this kid that I'm sure some of you know. Those of you that don't know, I'm gonna let you listen to it. I will not give you the link though. Um, because this guy's getting blasted pretty well, but, um, this video, in the video, this dude is attacking TBS, the team, and I'm gonna give you guys more basis on that, because I know a lot of you don't really know what it is. I'm, I'm usually not in to this kind of stuff where I particularly call someone out. This is just something that a lot of people don't understand. He's not the only one that they don't understand the movement, and I'm gonna explain what I think the movement is, and you guys can tell me if I'm wrong or if I'm right. And what not. So here we go. So you got these things on YouTube trying to start a movement. But guess what their movement's about? If you think this shit is gonna work, you must be a goddamn retard. Alright, now the funny thing is he said we're trying to start a movement and um really we're not. It's just transformed into that. Just listen to this real quick. Guess what their movement's about? Thrifting, buying goodwill clothes. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the f He thinks the thrift the movement is about thrifting, and the movement is not about thrifting. Um, I think some people get this all wrong and think that the whole movement is about thrifting. The movement is not about thrifting. Um, if you think it is, then, you know, go ahead. But I truly believe and honestly think that the movement we got going on here is not thrifting. It's just the style. It's the, the vintage style, 90s style mixed with the new school feel. He gets it wrong thinking that the whole movement is just about thrift shopping and that we only can buy stuff at thrifts and that's not the movement because this hat right here is not from a thrift store um, I got this in a trade this is not a thrift store pickup thrift store is not the movement that's just where we happen to get a lot of our clothes because it's a lot cheaper because that a thrift store was $12.99 go online look on eBay this hundred dollars plus Thrift store is just where we happen to get the stuff uh, on eBay or wherever else and it still counts as part of the movement just so this guy understands and so a lot of people understand this movement is not about thrifting it's about the style but I will show you some stuff this this is a thrift store pickup I got this at a thrift store for a dollar now if you're watching this and you think I'm stupid for paying a dollar for this at a Goodwill yeah, yeah, just just stop watching the video if you think I'm dumb for paying a dollar for this one. And if you think I'm dumb for paying a dollar for this one. You know, if you think I'm dumb for paying a dollar for this one. And sure as hell if you think I'm stupid for paying a dollar for this one. Yeah. You're yeah, this guy's so right. Like you should never shop at a at a thrift store because um you can never find dope stuff for a dollar. Like I got these all for a dollar. And I could easily sell this. This one is easily 50 bucks, you know, 40 bucks, even more. Like, I'm stupid for shopping at a thrift store, really? For reals. I just don't get that, you know. Um, this movement is getting bigger and bigger. Uh, but it's not all about thrift store, is what he's saying. I get some stuff at the mall. Let me show you a mall pickup real quick. Look at these. I mean, I've got these, I got these all at the mall. They're just, they're just plaids. Now these are, you know, pretty mainstream. I'm not trying to say these are hipster or different or anything. They're just mainstream. You know, they're just normal plaids that I got at the mall. I still rock them. So let me show you this. You know, I would, if I rock this and this, it adds a new flavor. You know what I'm saying? This is modern and this is retro. You know, I put, I put this on and then I put this on. Maybe not this one since... The teal and the red's kind of funky, but you know what I'm saying. Like, it's just the movement is about mixing that vintage feel with the new school feel. Go on with this video. I think everybody's gonna get on a goodwill movement. How you think everybody's gonna start going to the goodwill and buying clothes? Nigga, we all gonna be walking around smelling like old white people and shit. They name was like TV or some people. bullshit, eating bum clothes and shit, and think they're the shit. I mean, I'm not trying to do something like do what you do, but don't try to start a movement on it. Like, I'm not. Again, he said, don't try and start a movement on it. The thing is, we didn't try to. It just happened like that. A lot of people, especially since I have a lot of new subs, there's people that don't really understand what TBS is about. Now, when we started out, TBS, TBS is Team Vintage Snap. 
It's a collective of a bunch of us from the YouTube community that um, make vintage pickups. It wasn't my idea, it wasn't anybody's idea except Snapback Streets. Um, basically, when we started out, when I started out, there was only a, a handful of us that did um, thrift store vintage snapback pickups. There's really probably only 20 to 30 of us and we just made videos about what we like to do. We weren't trying to start a movement, it was just us doing us and naturally people you know, started liking our movement and then they started watching it, really starting to understand that instead of paying 80 bucks on eBay for this hat, that if you're lucky you can find dope stuff at the thrift store. We did not try and start a movement it transformed into a movement and if you don't like the style then you don't like the style that's totally fine uh, I think this goes for everything not just our movement but other movements it seems that when it comes to style people have to hate other people that ha that don't have their style um, I don't really understand it because style is it should be a, an expression of within um, kind of like who you are what you do what you like um, style is an opinion just as someone's taste in food. You shouldn't attack someone for their taste in food. Um, if someone likes pizza and you don't, you shouldn't attack them for that. The same with style. If someone likes snapbacks, you shouldn't attack them for that. Um, it's just all a matter of opinion. People like different things, and that's just how it is. So if you don't like the vintage game, the vintage style, that's totally fine, but do you really have to hate on someone that does? because I don't really think there's a necessity for that. Um, I don't think everyone wants people to dress exactly like them. I know I don't. I don't want everyone to dress like me. I don't want the whole world to dress like me um, because if, if everyone dressed like me and this whole movement, then it'd be kind of boring, you know what I'm saying? So let's just try and remember that if you're watching this, um, whether you're down with this vintage life or not with this vintage uh, movement just in style in general why don't we all just be more accepting and hippie-ish and 70s groovy tie-dye-ish okay just give each other hugs and sing around bonfires and stuff sing around bonfires and stuff yeah sorry i burped on that one